Hello and welcome back to Hots Farm 4 with our Spain campaign! So, reading a little bit through the comments, a lot of you suggested I should join the Central Powers um, if I wanted some real challenge. Well, I did boost them in their strength, um, so I'm hoping that they will be capable of putting up a good fight. Uh, I'm still gonna go with our taunt route for now, but I might set up a little bit more passively. Um, I am generally hoping to get into a struggle. Um, I don't know. Um, depends also a little bit on the AI and what Italy, for example, is going to do. But we've got historical focuses on so Italy. Will most likely join um, in the um, Diantante. Or, yeah, in Diantante. And I do agree. I want <laughs> Gibraltar back because it's kind of my land. Um, but we're already stuck in the um, in this position. Besides, I think. You know, honestly, if I would take over, um, if I would somehow change it and join uh, the the um, uh, the faction, I think we would win most guaranteed, most definitely. And that would not. It's not really kind of the idea. So for now, I might stick neutral and um, just work from there. See if there's any opportunities for us to take. Um, Perhaps even if France decide, you know, starts winning, we might actually declare war on France just to, you know, get some more territory in Africa. So those lines, I don't know. Maybe we might be an opportunist. But the plan for now still will be to um, join with the Entente first chance we get and send troops to the German front. But I hope the boosting I did on their part that they will finally succeed in a war. Um, and I might join in late uh, to to wait for Russia to collapse on upon its own and yeah the democracy has been brought to Greece don't know by whom but it must be by Italy huh. the democracy all right a little bit of equipment effort Let's see. Can't do that yet. Um, let's see. What else is left here? A couple of guys with no faces. It's a bit annoying because you cannot select them anymore because um, it uses the portrait as the uh, selection box. Which is a mildly bit annoying, but... Let's see, entrenchment speed, that's pretty nice to be honest, army logistics ex specialist. What do we have now? We have a guy, which I don't know, and we've got a commando for special forces. Yeah, might as well take this guy. Um, attrition, I don't like it. It's it tends to ruin you. Uh, okay. Orders. You can go there. You will go there, yes, and you can stop training for a second. We are still recruiting new units, aren't we? Yeah. But it shouldn't get any equipment, at least not any motorized equipment, which has been recently added to the roster, I believe, and we are building some. We need a lot of equipment, in all honesty. Let's just kind of do that, because I do want to build my scouts and early fighters and other kind of stuff. Right. Still building the economy. All right, let's hope we get some trade. Um, let's see, we're exporting tungsten. Nobody wants that. China export takes in some steel and well that's about it Hejaz has capitulated I didn't can't remember there was a war here oh Italy is doing pretty well in the Ottoman war oh, that might change the outcome a little bit gas masks and trench war focus let's go for equipment effort um, actually go for artillery effort just balance it out a little bit um, Let's see, because this gives us 1914. This can be a nice recovery rate of 74 75 days. Some early motorized will soon be added on. Now, I think early motorized takes a little bit more uh, um, 
production, but has better bonuses, I guess. Production cost is three, production cost is two. Oh, it's actually cheaper. Well, makes sense, because you don't need any more horses. Let's do. One upon cavalry divisions. It kind of was like, oh yeah, I need cavalry, but I've been playing around a little bit with a different mod. Um, that made some changes with that. Um, is it useful to, to even do this? Yeah, kind of. This is just for my OCD. Um, thanks, game. <laughs> There's little purpose. Actually, doesn't serve any purpose. Um, right, so that will change the motorized. This is ahead of time. This is could be useful. No, I have to don't have the production for armor. Early artillery. That is useful. And I need to put my marines up to something. For now, why don't you take the borderline with France here? I guess France gets weird ideas. Am I? You never know. Um, let's see, Marines. You're still a very basic division, so let's start editing you a little bit. There is, there are some points, so why not spend them? Let's get him some support artillery. You know, let's start with that. And then we're going to party this with in Montenegro. Hmm, artillery effort is completed. As grammar. All right, the First World War just began. 26th of April, 1915. The world just burst into flames. However, John Jouras of France was assassinated by the Parisian Cafe Le Croissant 146 Rue Montmartre by aptly named Raoul Villain. And 29 year old French nationalist. Juarez was scheduled to appear at one of the international conferences to deliver pro uh, protest against the seemingly independ uh, impending war, and with his death, the last major social obstacle for France's involvement came to an end. Tough luck for him. So far, France hasn't joined in. German Empire declared war on Belgium. Okay, so France is in, that makes sense. Uh, Russian Empire has opted for a war against the Austro-Hungarian Empire and allegedly an attempt to assist Serbia. Despite seemingly good intentions, almost all powers of Europe have created this simple Russian expansionism into Habsburg territory. And most have withdrawn their support for the Tsar, though it's rumored that France may still yet join in this war. It seems that Otto von Bismarck's prediction of the next Great European War has come true. So here we are, the world burns, and I'm gonna just... Let her burn for a while. I have no interest in joining any of the factions yet. There are possibilities here. A peace with the United Kingdom is not in a faction. Exists the Treaty of Versailles has not been signed. Well, of course, this runs a little bit longer. What might happen here is that we will not. We we might join the Allies, or you know, as far as I understand the game in its current state. It is actually possible to get into the Second World War. Now, there might not be any um, uh, uh, focus trees for it because, you know, nothing that will happen. The results aren't set, so it's not, uh, it's, it would become incredibly difficult to make a proper functioning focus tree. But, with that said, there are some other options that now become available. Um, this could also more resource gain, right? Uh, you know, I cannot even build all the support battalions that I want, so let's upgrade some other stuff. Ask a military request. No, France, I am for now not interested in your war. Um, I am, however, interested in that. Okay, I think the Marines probably should go back into the training army. Keep training. All right. Kind of annoying that this doesn't turn off. Got some more factories from trade all of a sudden. Let's see what people are trading. Italy just took a lot of our steel. Very nice. 
Hedges joined the Entente, the Ottoman Empire joined the Entente. The Ottomans joined the Entente. That is really strange. Italy, did you just fuck up? You cannot no longer join the Entente. And you're fairly friendly with Germany. Italy might actually join with the Central Powers. Which would make sense, as Italy now is officially at war with the entire Entente. I'm not going to give you military access for now. Oh, this is interesting. So we might keep our neutral station a little bit longer. I don't know if they can hold. Wait. Did Italy just officially join in this war? No, okay. For, yeah, well, it's in the war, but as a own nation. I was Because the attack happened, it was like, maybe they are finally... Um... Oh my, this is genuinely interesting. No, I don't want to give you military access. I don't want any fighting on my land. So, yeah, piss off. Uh, early motorized. That's not what I wanted to do. Cancel this production line, change you to early motorized. Uh, that makes us one needle for rubber. Well, let's trade with the Netherlands. They deserve a little bit of trade. All right. There we go. Set that up. Um, probably needs a different airfield though. And you'll fly support missions from there. There we go. I'm just kind of. This is a good thing for Germany though. That Italy not fighting against. Uh, so now there's two fronts, right? There's the German front here, which they are winning, and there's the stalemate here. Um, but France now needs to diverge forces towards Italy. That's pretty damn awesome. And this is text sharing. This is about it, right? The Entente will be disbanded at the end of the war, so I might join in at some point. But might not actively contribute to the war. It gives me some army experience, some research with land doctrines. It gives me also some more other research stuff, which is pretty useful. Mm. For now, I'll just go with construction effort. I have no interest in joining this war just yet. It looks like Germany is doing pretty damn well. Germany is marching into Russia at full force. And is actually taking landed Belgium. Oh, but there it is. There start the English invasions of everywhere, which is about as annoying as it gets. Game, what are you doing? Tsar Nikola abdicates. Soviet Russia declared war on the Russian Empire. There it is. Uh, demonstrations have forced the poor Tsar into official abdication, though the Tsar has named Grand Duke Mikhail as its successor. The Duke has declined the offer. The appointment of the weak provincial government, which shared power with the Petrograd Soviet Socialists, led to an confusion and chaos, both on the front and hand at home. They became increasingly ineffective. What now? Well, with the speed Germany is pushing in and Austro-Hungary, I doubt that the Russians will be capable of also defeating Soviet Russia. So we might see communism, for once. Might have been a good idea what I just did. Just give them a little bit more power. Mongolian joined the white movement. So, yes, they're officially no longer in the Entente. Right. Russia has been will die. I think that's pretty clear. If And I think if I would have joined Germany, um, France and England would have fallen as well. Because as it looks right now, this is a bit of a done deal. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know what they changed or rebalanced for that matter, but I th I'm quite uh, glad that the result is pretty good. Oh, Italy is losing ground. It's Italy fighting this on its own, of course. That might be the reason now that um, so much progress is being made. However, Soviet Russia seems to be not doing that well just yet. 
Well, I am looking forward to see the result, however. Let's see, let's add you an engineer company. Yes, more equipment needed. But we're still bulking up our economy. We're still slowly getting there. I don't know what this guy is building. Little weird the lack of pictures. Early artillery. There we go. Let's see. Production costs two and a half. So it doesn't change production costs. Good. Right, industry. What would be needed for quicker building? Oh, that's gonna take a couple of years before we can even do that. Trenches, trenches. Construction speed. All right, that gives me a really good reason to start working on that. Let's just keep an eye on the wall. As this front becomes bigger and bigger, there might become some issue for the Germans. Oh no, this is the capitulation. There it is. I think Russia just capitulated. That might explain the massive lag spike we're having here. This is quick. We're just three episodes in. But then again, running at speed five, you go quite quickly through the early years. And we're not involved in this war, so there isn't a lot of pausing. There we go. Russia is out. Due to a combination of political instability, defeats in battle and war wariness, we can no longer stand up to the central powers. The peace treaty has been drafted in Brest. Yeah, this is written from uh, the perspective of the Russians. Um, cost of free Finnish, Ukrainian, and Caucasian, Baltic, and Belarusian states, as well as typical war in the Minities. To the victorious powers, a terrible peace, but far better than the alternative. The October Revolution is successful. The Soviets are in power, and soon, in the next lag spike, states will slowly get released. They should slowly get released, like every day or so, I think a couple of states. So Germany gets its extra land. I don't know how exactly how this is getting flipped. Ukraine is free. France is landing. But now this entire force will move towards France, and we might just want to need to join in here. I think it's time for us to join the Entente. Don't want to. Did I just accidentally press the end key? I genuinely don't want to, but I think we kind of start to need to. Division speed plus 5%. Uh, that's not really what I'm looking for. Let's see, Army of Fens, Army of Fens. Let's see another solid 5% or defense. Mm, there's a lot of here what you could do. Division recovery rate, which is pretty good. Um, morale. You know what? I go for maneuver. I, I like speed. No, keep them on their toes. Right, so this is going to be the official point that we are kind of going getting into the war. Um, new theater. This will be, it's the name of the theater. Marines. This is the first Marines. It's not, doesn't really change much, but. Right, you will be leading them. Marines are the dark blue. And the army is the green ones. Thank you. And the trainees are well, 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 for now. Um, you guys, for now, set up on the French border. I think I need to tell you to uh, stop protecting our colonies or our colonial territories as much as is left of it. And uh, start moving the main force towards uh, mainland. Soon we'll be in this wall. War will be upon us. Fairly soon. Well, we'll be joining the Entente as soon as we get the chance. So, uh, yeah. Probably requires a day. There we go. Uh, oh, we are in due to the event. Right. Um, 
Well, here we are. Equipment effort. Let's continue with this. Call to arms, but you will accept. Well, I think this is the same war. Okay, we're officially at war. Welcome to the war. Um, so, what's up next? Now, I won't join the war with Italy, because I think I just kind of fine and not our problem but we do we're gonna oppose germany here because we don't like their involvement at all no i think we're gonna set up parts of our army right there and our marines will be put in the lowlands like that delete your um divisions here now training is no longer going to be necessary because we'll be trained in battle that goes for you as well then so you'll be joining the green army directly you'll be joining the blue army or the first marine corps directly first marine corps i don't know how to write that in spanish otherwise i would this is the let's see first army I'm gonna give them a limited size though. I think I'm thinking about our armies running over them 100 soldiers each. Seems like a good plan. Alright. Um, call to arms from Ottoman Empire. This is probably the. Okay. I'm already in this war, gentlemen. There's no need to keep calling me to this war. So you've got the Soviet-Russian war, which keeps will flare up. Ah, that's right, Mongolia still needs to die off. And the Italian-Ottoman war, which is something I won't join, and the Austro-Hungarian-Serbian war. One that I will assist in. For now, I just need to march my troops with the limited strength they have towards the front line and prevent Germany from kind of taking us on. Exactly. Completely agree with it. I have no clue what you just said. Um, however, I think new training might be out of the question for now of these guys. Because we're kind of going to need equipment to just supply our troops with that what we need. And we might have lost a couple of factories. I just realized that. Um, let's see. We're at 1915. Because we're trading, we were trading with Italy. They still okay. So that's another reason not to go to war with Italy, because we kind of rely partially on the trade with them. All right. Well, our first troops have arrived at the front line, and we're fighting against Germans with the Pickel Halbe. Halbe? Pickel? Pickel Halbe? Halbe? It's not Halbe. Um, I don't know what else it would be. Anyway, just dig in. If you would be so kind. Now we're over stacking on this front line a little bit apparently. I think the Olympics should be cancelled. Um, we're losing ground here. Let's see if we can just assist in this. Serbia has capitulated. These are dark times. Wow, I might have given the German Empire a little bit more power than they should have. Italy is crushing the Ottoman Empire. Uh, that might work out in, in our favor. Bulgaria. Because Ottoman Empire is still in... Is, is technically at our side, so... Or you. Go here. This little part of Belgium is kind of ruining a... More solid front line. Okay, the Germans are, so far, we're holding. Let's keep it at that. Um, I think it's going to be worthwhile to speed up our construction. Hmm. Well, this is one of the first times I've been in a war where I am definitely not certain if I will be able to even win. Luxembourg is just surrounded by it. I think the Germans declared born Luxembourg in the, uh, the actual second, first world war. This is not the second. We're still in the first war effort. 
We are at war and we are in a faction. Jesus, this is there like a hundred motorized? Did I say this correctly? They've got a hundred infantry here. Let's see, how much? We're to 600 up to 600. We're 200, 100 focus. We're about 300 and I bring about to the table a mega 50. 46. Um, and my divisions aren't that good, particularly. Italy, 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 Italy. You are a issue. Wow, the Germans to Constantinople? How? They must have invaded somehow. Right, well, it would be nice to uh, land night attack. Alright, for now this is fine. I wish I could build some stuff though. Let's get new infantry helmets and upgrade our infantry as soon as possible and have them better defenses. Oh, Belgium, please infest a little bit more in your defenses. For now, German Zeppelin campaign, we're doing fine. I don't know how Germany's doing here. Oh, that, Jesus, they're successful everywhere. Should not have given them power. Should not have given them more power. Um, for once, they're winning their war. Well... Good. Um, let's see, where can I put these? Right here. A fly over the Benelux. There we go. I should not turn on day night cycles because it's going to be really annoying. Look. If I would put that on. Like it's now it's, it's, it's turned on. Oh, at speed 5 it automatically turns it off. At speed 4 you would see this. Uh, that's annoying. I always have it turned off. I don't think it adds that much because I'm not really... I'm ever not ever that specifically planning my attacks. So, you know. So the big trick is going to be... At some point we need to break the German lines. But losing territory everywhere is going to be a bad thing. England doesn't have the forces to hold up on the Germans. The Germans have been building really well. Uh, getting Italy out of this war might actually be a good idea though. But they're trading with them. I'm going to decline for now because I've got a large portion of my trade just depending on this. Well fine Mongolia, I won't attack. Let's see, what does my construction look like? I could probably do that, yeah. I'll assist you, let's see. Um, South Africa just died. Um, I will join your it Italian Ottoman War. Italy is officially not in the central powers yet, no, good. I don't have any forces to join into, into it, but it would open trade routes for others to get my steel. Mongolia capitulated. We have more effort and some tech sharing in the way. Mongolia was puppeted by the Soviet Union. Well, that makes kind of sense. So, yeah. A lot of people in the Entente. It was slightly different than I initially thought it would, but... Uh, hmm. Well, let's get some construction speed up and running. What's up next is probably this here. As well as, of course, a little bit of engineering, because that would uh, kind of fix our... Um, we'll still have our 10% delay, don't get me wrong, uh, on research, uh, but it might assist us a little bit. What do you need? Sport equipment. Well, just deploy anyway. I have a serious lack of factories. However, soon... There we go. China just picked up the slack. Let's see. United States started importing our chromium. Let's see, your tungsten is still not being used. Engineering companies are ready. Uh, let's go for the solid boosts yet before I'm gonna start upgrading. There we go, new infantry helmets. There, that's the important bit. Alright, um, this is going to be a 
Expensive upgrade, infantry battalions, re-equipped infantry. There we go. And I would like you to have logistics as well. Well, I need a lot of support equipment anyway, so might as well just add on to it a little bit. The final two civilian factories are being built, and then we'll start getting military factories, which will be built a lot quicker in comparison. We've managed to push into Germany. Impressive. Impressive it is. Um, funny, this front is fairly lightly stacked compared to the um, line here. Where did we lose? A province here. I can't exactly see per state. I can't remember. Technology, technology, technology. That's not even. Whatever. Um, extra research slot. There we go. For I should have known that the nineteen sixteen that will pop up. When do the other two do? Uh oh, somebody just capitulated. Or did the Russians rise up again? The second Russian Revolution. The Russian Civil War. Yep, there it is. Russia declared war. The whites versus the reds. Uh, this will pop up in 1917. Alright. Well, good luck. Um, this is, let's see. Ah, this is fairly even. This can go both ways. Well, we have a proper First World War now. Um, let's hope this will go eventually our way. I don't know. And uh, as the AI is programmed, it should not take territory. It should flip it and uh, everything. I am intrigued. I'm genuinely... Um... <sighs> Why are we wasting wars and forces in a war with Italy? This, however, is kind of in our benefit, because this creates a nice choke point, which requires very little defense. Yes, you're allowed to send... Oh, US, which would be a deal. Um, can I request you a land lease for support equipment and uh, motorized? They will not accept, because... Bad opinions. Oh, crap. Um, I'm sort of proving some relations with you. England, you might be able to do this. Can I request you a lend lease for support equipment? They're motorized. Alright, there we go. Can I request a lend lease with you as well? Motorized support equipment and inventory equipment. There we go. There we go. It is horse drawn, but it is the equipment that we need. So, yeah, that's definitely a good thing. We also need field guns, apparently. Crap. Uh, we are completely reliant on foreign equipment. You know what? You exist. Can I request some land lease from you for field guns? There we go. Nice. I'm getting stuff. Pretty damn good. Just the US and I need to get a little bit more friendly, apparently. Because they're officially not in the war yet. And they will accept now. Very good. Okay, well now we have equipment. The manpower will be sent by the others. Uh, will be sent, will be by us. But the equipment will be of, well, whoever is just wants to send the equipment. Uh, 1918. Well, that is a little bit ahead of time. Uh, yeah, well, let's get weapons... Let's start working on everything. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be researched. A lot of equipment that will arrive soon-ish. So let's take a look at our own nation. 30 days. 28 days. In 8 days, we'll expect a delivery from Japan. And in 18 days. Right, Belgium has capitulated. Crap, our front line is falling. Germany, stop doing that. Stop winning. That's not really what we had in mind. Well, the US can... 
The US is unofficially already in this war. But I don't know when they will get into the war. Romania joined the Entente. Well, they're gonna die quickly. Uh, let's see. Um, our espionage is definitely not good enough to even take a look at what they are doing. Romania has joined into the war. Well, the United States joined the Entente. Well, there it is. Uh, some new war partners coming in. Very good. Um, this might be the change that we needed uh, to get this done. Good. I, I, I'm... Uh, let's start. This is just a lot of research of tanks, right? Yeah. E do I need that? Yes. Yes, I do. 1917. So we're still good. Let's take this. Pick this up right now. Because I am. I want tanks. No, well, you know they're tanks. They're goddamn amazing. I'm just not interested in armored cars whatsoever. So, engineering, 1916, there's just a lot of research that popped up, and everything needs to be done at the same time. As annoying as that is. Deploy you. Infantry equipment is done. Portugal as our ally. Oh, good. No, that's... I'm just kind of so used that the Ottoman Empire is part of the the, the um, central power, so it's like, oh crap, did Portugal just join the war against us? But no, no they didn't. That's just, that would have been incredibly crap. <laughs> Let's see, we have enough uh, for, of that for now. Um, Yeah, tank designers, they might be useful, because I'm legitimately thinking about getting tanks up in this business. Uh, max factory output. Let's start producing. Factories are being built in a rapid pace. So far, so good. I'm kind of glad with our position we're in. We're not winning concisely everywhere. I have no clue how this war is going um, without the Russians in it anymore. And the Russians have their own issues. Plus, I don't think they will ever join the Entente because we're kind of like a democracy, and they are. Uh... But however, this is not truly a war of. This is not a. This like you could say World War Two was one of the first wars that was kind of fought more on ideology, because uh, you know, uh, like the Soviets, the. Um, the fascists versus the democrats and you know everybody hated the fascists um, but this one was st still fought for other political reasons um, is there anything interesting in this list except for you know chemical warfare focus which is interesting as this um, that's Oh, right, we should have reached poison gas by now. Let's see. Train. One. Let's get a equal number of you. We have equipment. We just need a large amount of field guns and just the other equipment, but we're getting there. With the US sending us in equipment that should, you know, go a lot better. Let's see. Um, right, this thing has a lot of artillery, a lot of sport equipment, infantry equipment. Good, they're sending us what we need. Incredible. We got a lot of troops that still need upgrades fighting with outdated equipment. Oh, this is looking weird because this is definitely originally French territory. Yeah. It would be nice if we could be able to get, cut them off here, but I don't think I have the troops nor the equipment for it to do that right now. What do I need? I need oil from the US. That's fine. Advanced hand tools, which is nice. Uh, supply consumption minus 1% is also very nice. 
Probably should also start looking at upgrading some more support divisions. And oh, we're running already at 20 minutes. So uh, oh, I put 40 minutes. Jesus. Um, so I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye bye.